Hey, what is going on pros and pros? It's Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to another drinks review. Today we're reviewing Mad Croc Juiced Energy and this one is going to be on the green apple. So I can't remember where I got this one. I haven't got the receipt because, you know, coronavirus and not keeping receipts and stuff. So uh, I think this was at a pound stretch though, to be totally honest with you guys. And it wasn't that expensive at all. But uh, yeah, if you see it, just, you know, pick it up, give it a try after I've reviewed it. Also, I'm recording this video in isolation. So if there's any background noise, I do apologise, but you know, what can you do? Uh, little Brothers on PlayStation, so you know, there we are. So like I said, I've also uh, reviewed another Mad Croc flavour. I'll put the link to that in the description below. So I didn't know they did the Green Apple. I said I saw it, picked it up and thought, hey ho, I've got to review that. So I give you guys a 4360 of the packaging. So we have kind of have a weird design here. We have, we have kind of a million different languages on the back. I mean, look at all that writing. That is a lot of different languages and a lot of writing. I mean, that is all writing. <laughs> and we have some weird stuff down like a free game and some other stuff as well but we have Mr. Mad Croc himself on the front there in green front of the can looks good you've got the logo and the stuff like that in green apple but then you've got again a million different languages down there explaining some stuff which is weird on the bottom we have got nothing and on the top everything's all standard and silver including the pull ring so let's see at the bottom it purely just says caffeine and the caffeine content is 32 milligrams per 100 mil down the weird side we have in Norway only, Sweden only, and it's got, I think that's their measurements of something, or the recycling thing, it's got a little recycling game, I'm not too sure, and it's got a free game for Apple and uh, Android, if you can scan that then do it, if not just Google it, it says madcropgame.com. Now going through all of the, yeah, all of the languages, bear with me, there is a lot, so England's right at the top, which is great. Let's see, without preservatives, we have uh, caffeine, yep, 32 milligrams, like I said. We have vitamins B3, B5, B6, and B12. Okay, nutritional information. Let's have a look of which sugars. Doesn't, or it says 11, well, it's got nothing for which sugars, so I'm not too sure. It's really confusing. I did have a read of this before, but it is really confusing because um, it, it's got, Basically, it's got carbohydrate, 11.2, and then of which sugars, and it's got nothing. And it's got all different languages. Or oh, I think it's 11.1. No, that's like next to fat. I don't know. It's really confusing, guys. So we'll just, uh, we'll just, I'll have to make mine up whether it's got sugar in it or not. But anyways, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Let's just drain to it. Hopefully, it won't explode over me. Let's go. So I'm guessing the colour is, you think the colour would be green, but I don't think it's going to be green. Um, well, yeah, green apple. That's, there is quite a few apple drinks out there, energy drinks, so it will be interesting to see. Don't want to explode. There we go. Okay. Ah, yeah, of course, apple. It's going to be the kind of brownish colour apple normally is, isn't it, guys? So quite a lot of fizz on the top there, and a fair few bubbles on the side, although they are going fairly quick. So the colour is indeed the standard apple colour, which is just that, that the kind of brownish colour, although this is maybe a tad on the lighter side and it is see-through. So I couldn't smell it while pouring it out, so let's give it a closer smell now. Oh, oh my god, yes. That smells, I couldn't smell it while pouring it out, but smelling it closely, that smells really, really strong of apples, like really strong. Oh, it smells like really strong apple ties. It smells stronger than apple ties, as boys with you. God, blimey, that is strong, yeah. Okay, nevertheless, let's try some, guys. Hmm, that's not too bad. That's actually quite nice. So basically, you could just say that's appetizer and walk away into the sunset and be happy, which... To put it simply, it, it basically tastes like apple tizer. That's it. <laughs> you won't think it's an energy drink because you don't know whether it's got caffeine in it or not. And you don't know, in terms of sugar, I think it feels like it's got a little bit of sugar in there. Maybe it's got that kind of half sugar or the kind of quarter sugar, but it definitely doesn't feel like it's full sugar. If it is full sugar, then it doesn't certainly taste like full sugar. So yeah, it definitely just, it just reminds me of apple tizer. The aftertaste... It's quite a little bit of a not so good aftertaste. It kind of just reminds me of like apple cider aftertaste for some reason, where 
it's kind of just got that just that weird apple aftertaste if you know what i mean but the flavor itself like i said it's purely just like you know apple ties but it, it's not because it's green apple and it's not like the sour apple which most energy drinks are sour apple you know you're you know your your rock star you've got the sour apple your um i think you've got the emerge and the boost and stuff you've got the kind of sour apple drinks there as well and you know if you mostly it's sour apple when it comes to energy drinks with an exception of you know uh, relentless's apple and kiwi which does have a little bit of kiwi in it and is really nice but this is definitely just more like a natural appetizer type flavor and honestly i'd love to do a blind taste test with these but i'll probably never find a kind of kind of this again but uh i reckon a blind taste test that would actually be really hard to tell the difference but you know it's um it, it's yeah it's basically appetizer guys what else can i say So the sweetness is about halfway. You drink it, you get that kind of nice apple flavour, which is nice. The apple does taste real and nice, just like it does an apple tizer. And the aftertaste is kind of, of nothing really, not much. Um, but uh, it's, it's like I said, sweetness is halfway. There's no kind of, you know, like I said, the aftertaste, I just said the aftertaste isn't much, but after I left it for like 30 seconds, well, I'm leaving it a little bit now, I'd start to get something else in there, which is just that, that kind of weird, I said the weird kind of apple aftertaste cider, a little bit, the aftertaste, but not not too much to worry about. The flavour itself is nice, and I think most people would like this if they like appetizer or stuff like that. It's again, it's not like a carton apple juice. It's just it's definitely is just a standard fizzy fizzy apple drink basically, just with with caffeine in it, which is um, which is which is cool. So yeah, not too bad, guys. Not too bad. I still prefer the sour apple flavours and I still prefer, you know, like the Relentless and the Rockstar sour apples, I'd say to this, because they're more energy drink, the ones up there. This doesn't seem as much as an energy drink. Um, it seems more just like a fizzy apple drink rather than anything else. So um, for that though, I'll give it in the middle, guys, because, you know, it's not incredible nice. You know, it's not disgusting. It's not horrible. It's kind of just bang in the middle, like, okay, I'm an apple tizer. Would you tell me if I didn't have different packages on it? You know, there we go. So, but as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.